Welcome back to the Force Lines YouTube channel, welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and the Rolling Stone save with Maidstone United and in today's episode we are facing Forest Green, an away game. We are second in the league, I think we're just a point behind Eastleigh although they have a game in hand. So if we win and if Eastleigh don't win we could go top again today and um, off screen I'll go through those games, we did alright, we're doing well, we're into January now so we're past halfway in the season. If you're enjoying the videos, make sure you drop a like down below and leave comments. And if you want to see videos as I'm winning to up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. It really help me out. Likes really help the channel. Just let's see that sub count increase again. I love it. So last episode was uh, definitely... It was interesting, but it was interesting for the wrong reasons. Uh, we beat Warren Wood 1-0. Uh, we scored with what was the only shot on target of the game. So it was just incredibly strange. But we won it. Five games played off screen and we started off by a defeating newly promoted Welling and uh, it was a draw in the away game in the opening game of the season. Uh, we managed to beat them at home. BMU getting the first goal on 12 minutes and then uh, in the second half uh, Loza made it 2-0 on 50 minutes uh, but we were denied a clean sheet. Welling getting a goal back in the 88th minute. Tristan Abrahams getting that goal. Um, yeah, it was, it was fine. It was a good game. Muldoon had a, had a good game. Loza was man of the match. Um, well, and weren't really in it at all. We then had our FA Trophy first round match, and we faced Eastbourne Borough, a team from the National League South, and we won 2 0. Made a few changes in this game. Uh, Lee Walker went back and goal. Uh, we started Ben Headley. Uh, we went Willard, who's uh, coming and actually done a bit better. He's been pretty good. We won this game 2 0. Jamal Lowe's has scored on 26 minutes, and then uh, BMU doubled the lead just before half time in the 45th minute. And again, we were fine. Eastbourne weren't really in it. Uh, then we had an away game against uh, Accrington Stanley, relegated from League 2, of course, in real life. Promoted to League 1. That was a contrast and a half, isn't it? Uh, this was a one-all draw. Uh, we weren't brilliant in this game. We weren't very good as well. We only had four shots to their 15, so I would say a bit lucky to get something from this. Accrington took the lead on 40 minutes. Uh, Billy Key getting their goal, uh, but we did get an equaliser on 51 minutes. Jamal Lowe's are scoring. But other than that, you know, we really struggled to create opportunities in this game. Hartley was poor with a 6.3. Um, BMU didn't have the best of games. It was just a disappointing result, a disappointing performance. The results are all right, and the drawing away from home isn't too bad. And we had the same result against Barrow, 1-1. And once again, we were 1-0 down. And this time, it was much earlier. The fifth minute, we went behind to uh, a goal by Matt Foy, which was, uh, yeah, again, not good. And once again, we just... Struggled to get shots away in this game. We did get a goal again in the second half. Jamal Lowe's are getting it on 53 minutes. But we just really struggled to get shots away. We defended well. But going forward, we were just a little bit poor. Barrow did also end the game with 10 men. Thierry Ordell being sent off in the 87th minute uh, for a professional foul. So uh, they ended with 10. And uh, we didn't manage to capitalise in those last few minutes. But um, again, a draw away from home isn't bad. And Barrow have been a team that have been difficult to beat in this series. Uh, the final game we played off screen was bonkers. It was absolutely bonkers. It was a 6-1 win over Halifax. 6-1. And, you know, some of these goals are going to be on screen because some of these were just absolutely ridiculous. The first goal came from a BMU 12 minutes in and then we scored the second and third in a very quick succession. Hines and Lowe's are scoring inside a minute of each other. Both in the 18th minute, so it must have literally been kick-off, lose the ball, score. And that's it. Halifax did then manage to pull a goal back and make it 3-1. Adam Morgan again on the score sheet. Just an absolutely horrendous error by Andre Burley. And then we scored our fourth. Maxime Biamu getting his second of the game. And then the fifth came from Joel Grant in the 39th minute. And then... I'm still like, like I played this last night at about 2 o'clock in the morning. And I... What, I Probably woke the house up. I was laughing so hard. Matty Casilo uh, scored the own goal to make it 6-1. And, I mean, I've seen people post these on Twitter, these sort of own goals. It's the first time I've seen it happen myself. And it was the funniest thing I've seen on Football Manager. I think on my channel, I was laughing so hard. And I wish I'd have had it live. But it was so funny. But a 6-1 win. Uh, we scored... Well, I would... Yeah, we didn't score with all of our shots on target. Because... The sixth goal wasn't scored by us, but um, yeah, it was, we were just 
we destroyed Halifax. So once again, we have not lost and we are unbeaten now in 11 games, which is, well, more than that in the league. Um, 13 games unbeaten in the league, I'm making that. I might be miscounting, I'm not sure. But despite that, we're still second place. Uh, easily have a game in hand and, you know, those drop points mean that we don't quite take the lead. Since losing the Dagenham, Eastleigh themselves haven't lost. And um, they're still in the FA Trophy. Uh, they went out of the FA Cup. Um, yeah, it's between us two at the moment. Barrow are three points behind us. Uh, Dagenham and Redbridge are in fourth. And they're seven points behind us. And you've got York, Leighton Orient. And uh, today's opponents, Forest Green, rounding out the top seven. So we managed to beat Forest Green 4-0 in the reverse fixture at home. One of our first games of the season. Which, um, that was good. Hopefully we can have a... Another good result away from home. Got a couple of injury concerns though. Muldoon has picked up a uh, was it a thigh injury, a calf injury. So he's going to be out for up to three weeks. So he can't play today. So we're going to go Ben Headley. And we're going to bring McCourt onto the bench. Uh, also, Joel Grant has um, got a bit of a knock. So we're going to play Harley, Harley Willard. Just move him a little bit further forwards. I'm going to go back to Rydhal at left back. And I'm going to go Finney and Winter again. Okay, underway against Forest Green. Let's see if we can continue our unbeaten run. I mean, I've got the cameras on now. We're probably going to lose. Well, early doors. Lots of possession. Four efforts. Um, first highlight here. 21st minute of the game. Hopefully it will be something for us. As uh, Headley makes the interception. Here is Zavon Hines. Now Spence. Uh, the low knee from... Uh, Cardiff has been sort of sitting out a bit and we've been playing Jeb, but Spence is getting his run of games now. Goes out wide to uh, Harvey Willard and uh, headed away by Bennett. Here's Spence again. Uh, looks for someone, but Johnson with a clearance. Finney brings it back forward. BMB wins the header. Spence. He's got Willard again to his left. Goes back to the Frenchman. Here's Jamal Loza and Jaloza scores. Jaloza. 22nd minute of the game. Willie 1 0. Well worked goal. And from long range as well. Good finish. Loza just inside the 18 yard box. Gets the goal, gets the shot away. 1-0. Another highlight here. 31 minutes played. Here is Maxim Beambu. Sliding tackle by Brown wins the ball. And, uh, and now it's with James. And Forrest Green on the attack here. Can we deal with this? James uh, plays through Doge. And he hits the post. And oh no, it's all. Oh, wow, that was a mess. That was an absolute mess. Christian Doge makes it 1-1. And that was a really messy goal. Durl just... Didn't know where the ball was. Let's see this again in 3D. So James uh, played through uh, Dodge. Managed to get away from the defender. The shot hit the bar. Dell parried it onto the post. Oh, that was an absolute mess. It's the first time Rich Dell has really done something wrong this season. And it, yeah, it's not coming a great time. 1-1. One, one. Uh, another goal before half-time would be decent. They've got a few like yellow cards piling up there. Two strikers. Both been booked. And Forrest Green have a corner here. And it's gone in. Dell Bennett <laughs> makes it 2-1. Forrest Green take a lead. That's not what was supposed to happen. Yeah, he won the header. He got up first. Simple as that. So, there was me hoping for a goal at halftime from us. And it's come from them. That sucks. Right, I, I saved the team talk. At first I said we were the better team. And then they weren't happy. So, I've changed it. And I managed to save it. Get stuck in. I'm going to put on. We're going to go flexible. Start the second half and hopefully get back into this because uh, I wasn't expecting to lose this one. I don't want to lose this one. I'm going to keep this unbeaten run going as long as I can. We've got a corner here. Spence to take it. Beam me with a header and there we go. Equaliser just 90 seconds into the half. Perfect. Spence with a corner. Beam me with a header. Pretty much unchallenged. 2-2. Dell with a goal kick. 50 minutes played now. Brown heads it forward. Here's James. And a place with Doidge. Doidge with a shot and that's just over. Uh, Headley forward to Loza. Bimu's in the area and gets the header. How did he put that wide? That should have been on target. Okay, we're on the hour. I'm going to take off Harvey Willards. Uh, he's not done well. Uh, Hartley's on. Usually plays on the right, but I've been using him a bit on the left. And also because Grant's injured. So that's why he's going to play. I'm going to say get creative on the shouts. 65 minutes. Good. Possible another chance here. BMU And a great tackle there by Brown. Very good tackle. And now goes long. Hopefully Tomazi can deal with this. He does. Spence now to Ben Headley. And looks for BMU but doesn't get there. Here he is again. This time he finds BMU And BMU shot. It's off the post. It's clear by Bennett. We've had a lot of chances today. I mean it's still level. 
hopefully we can grind this out and get a win. I mean, a draw's all right, but I want to try and win this game. Here's Hartley. I don't know where that was going. Winter goes forwards, and Lowe's is through here. Come on, Lowe's out. Oh, off the, I was that side netting outside of the post? I don't know. Bimu and Spencer getting a bit tired. I'm going to take off Bimu. I'm going to bring on Piggott. I know Piggott can score goals, and his, his morale is right up there. It's perfect. Oh, corner for Forest Green. Oh, get it. Get rid. Get rid, please. Oh, no. Oh, what's going on? Right, I'm going attacking. Um, it's gone down as an Alex Winter own goal of all things. Let's see this again. That didn't look like an own goal to me, but let's see it. Sterling with a corner. Not that Sterling. I mean, that's, this is an absolute mess. That, that, that went in front of him. I don't see how that's an own goal. That's really annoying. 80 minutes played now, and we are 3 2 down. Come on. We need, I don't want to. I can't lose this game. We don't deserve to lose this game. We've had all the possession. But, oh no, they're coming forward again here. No! Oh, it's wide. Dahl's had a really poor game today. Only a 6.0. That's rare from him. Hartley since coming on has been poor. Hines has been very quiet. The defence has been a bit sloppy. I mean, I could have gone three up top, but I've already taken off BMU, so I can't do that. Let's push Hartley up a bit. And let's bring, we're going to bring on Jeb and make him an advanced playmaker. And we're just going to go for this now. We're going to go sort of long balls and all that stuff. Be more expressive as well. Last 10 minutes of the game. At the moment, we're losing, and I don't want that. No one wants that. Finney makes a good tackle there. I've reloaned him for the rest of the season. We had him for six months again. But um, I've reloaned him. He's here till the season. I don't want to get rid of him at all, really. Hopefully, I'll get him permanently at some point. But anyway, keep it going here. Hines goes long. Can Loza get to this? Can he get to this? No, he can't. It's cleared. But Hartley keeps it in play. Here's Headley. Oh. Not far off. Not far off. Right, we're going over those. Still in the 90th minute here. Piggott. Ride Hull coming forward here. That's a good cross. Hines! Oh my god, the keeper gets to it. What's his name? Arrestidu. Oh, that might be it. Into injury time now. 92 minutes coming up. Oh, uh, and now the time's running down. I think I think it's all over. Late throw in here. It's got to be now. It has to be. Pig. Oh, well, that's it. That's it. We've lost to Forest Green. We've lost to Vegans with a wooden stadium. How have we lost that? I, uh, we had so many. I want to see how many how many like proper chances we had in that game. Because we shouldn't have lost that game. We really shouldn't. We've actually dropped to third with that. Because Barrow beat Halifax 4-1. Uh, Eastley won 2 nil as well. So we're now four points off top. Uh, we had four clear-cut chances in that match. Four half chances. I mean, 14 long shots. That's not really very good. 58% possession. How have we lost? How have we lost that? Not happy about that. Uh, but anyway, what do we have coming up? Wrexham and Darlington, Whitehawk, Torquay and Macclesfield. Might be able to get as far as Ebbsfleet. I'm not sure. Um, well, it depends as well where we are in the FA Trophy. But um, we're on 5th of Jan at the moment. Uh, looks like there might be a little bit of a break. Well, we're playing every week now. So, uh, there, yeah, it's going to be, you know, a bit further ahead. I think we'll try and get to Ebbsfleet. If not, we'll do Tramir. But we're going to do uh, five or six games off screen, as we usually do. Uh, I'm going to try and get to Ebbsfleet for uh, Sunday's video. But anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as I'm on the internet on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Unfortunately, we lost today. That's a shame. But hopefully uh, we can continue to get the victories off screen and try and stay behind easily try and overtake him if we can and try and get top spot because i'm going to get promoted this season i don't want to be in this division for a third year so we're going to try and get promoted hopefully that will be automatic i don't want to have to go for playoffs because i don't do well in playoffs so hopefully we can uh we can stay up up, up near the top of the table thank you for watching i will see you soon goodbye